The remains of what might have been a home seemed out of place here, and it hurt to look at. It was as if someone had thought to live their last moments here. They took the scarf from the rafters and left the remains of the house behind. great tomb with a gravestone so large as to be a pillar. Before the grave, head bowed, was the dragon, its eyes closed. If it sensed them, it gave no sign. Fearing to disturb it, they crept carefully past. Whose tomb was this? The next chamber provided an answer in a mighty statue of the castle's absent king, sunk deep in the water. It was he the dragon mourned. Ember and Rhyme struggled with the thought. The castle's ruin, the absent king's passing. The dragon and king seemed of two different worlds, in opposition. Their steps slowed as they neared the door. The castle echoed the emptiness of the caves. A hollow place in the heart, where two things that shouldn't be were forced together and lost. <laughs>